Thank you. Joining us now is Paul Rykoff, Executive Director and Founder of Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Good morning. Good morning. It's amazing how remarkably rare these kinds of things actually are, considering so many of these folks have done not a single tour, but a double tour, or even a third tour in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah, that's right. This is only about the fifth such incident, uh, and we sent about 500,000 people to Iraq and Afghanistan more than once. Yeah. So it's been extremely rare, but you have to keep the, the families of these folks in mind. You know, five folks were killed. We can't lose sight of that, and our thoughts and prayers are really with them in this tragic, terrible, terrible but, episode. But the percentage of people who come back with some affected in some way, in a dramatic way, is actually quite high. Yeah. I, I, studies are anywhere between one in five, one in four folks are going to come home with acute stress, post-traumatic stress stress disorder, some other kind of depression. So it's hundreds of thousands of folks who, who've been affected. And every time you send them back to the war zone, they're about 50% more yeah, likely. It jumps. It right. jumps really. Right. Right. And, and there's a huge stigma. So a lot of them are reluctant to come forward and get care. Right. Unfortunately, an episode like this may only perpetuate mm -hmm. that. But maybe this is a wake-up call that our country needs to finally devote the resources. Because here's the thing. His father said, I never saw any signs of stress in my son. That doesn't yeah. mean it wasn't well, there. Well, he's also not a qualified mental health professional. Mm -hmm. And what we need is qualified mental health professionals doing screenings for everybody across the is there enough of that there? No, there's not right now. We're not using qualified mental health care professionals across the board. We need to screen them before, during, and after. And we need more health care workers. There's a real shortage right now of qualified psychologists, social workers. We need a national call. We need them involved so incidents like this don't happen again. Paul, thanks for taking the time. Thank you, Harry. Anytime. Appreciate it.